All right, guys, welcome back to part three of the video. Uh, last video got up here really long, and I said I was going to try to have the carburetor on too and having it running. I got the oil and filter changed, uh, spark plug, and uh, started pouring the rain down here, so it's going to be maybe a little bit harder to hear. But anyway, uh, this part here, we're going to get the carburetor on. Get the throttle hooked up, choke cable hooked up, and then we should be ready to fire. So stay tuned. All right, so let's get the carburetor stuff on here. Alright guys, sorry the video cut off. Uh, I've been having technical difficulties with uh, using my phone and the iCloud. If any of, uh, any of you have ever experienced that, it's a pain in the you know what. Um, give you an update where I'm at. The carburetor, I'll turn you around, see if you can see it. Carburetor is on down there. Uh, I put new throttle cable, choke cable. Throttle cable I ended up changing out, put the old one back on because the new one was too short. And after getting in contact with the seller uh, and informed them that it was about, uh, ended up being about four inches too short. Uh, well, I tried to stick the fuel tank on, the fuel tank was hitting and it wouldn't, you couldn't turn the, turn the handlebars. Uh, fuel tank wouldn't go all the way up in place. So I cleaned up the old throttle cable, lubed it up, put it back on. It's working great. So um, what I have gotten done that I didn't video, I finally got this issue fixed. So now I can record some uh, with the iPhone, you know, with the iCloud rather. I'll show you the fuel tank here. I ordered a new petcock for it. You can see it right there. I got it installed. Uh, let's walk over here. Air box. I got the new air filter oiled up and installed in here. Ready to put the cap on that. Install it back in there. And then we should be able to fire this baby up. Definitely is uh, not easy trying to video this stuff by yourself. Boom. So that's all taken care of. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Brake pads. Brake shoes, rather. Uh, brake shoes should be in the mailbox today. I haven't checked... Uh, the delivery status yet see if they have been delivered but they should be down there they uh, they were at my main post office in Charleston yesterday evening so they they should have been delivered this morning so if that's the case then hopefully I can get this thing wrapped up today um, I'm gonna get you guys set up in the stand we're gonna get the air box back on. Uh, and we should be able to fire this thing up, see if it'll run. I have confidence, I think it'll run. Everything look good. And then I got a pressure wash, pressure wash, plastics. Um, put some gas in it, in the tank rather. I'm gonna still use my little portable uh, gas tank air to fire it up and let's see trying to think of anything else man that should be about it huh all right I'm gonna get you guys set up in the stand and then we'll get to putting this stuff back together 
All right. <clears throat> we'll get the air box on here. Getting on the carburetor is the hard part. This old boot on this air box is kind of stiff. So I'm going to try. Just put a little bit of WD 40. And again, I might have to take the boot loose from the air box itself and try to stick it on that way, possibly.
doing it this way. This old boot from this air box is so stiff, it's not really pliable. I hate to have to buy a new one, but if I can't get it on there, I might have to. Pieces of plastic shredding off of it, or hardened rubber. It's getting in the edge of the carburetor. I don't like that. Okay, <clears throat> well, I'm going to have to try to figure out what to do about this because it's actually shaving. That's so hard. You can't even squeeze it, and that should be pliable. So I'm, I'm going to have to possibly look at buying a new one because this is shaving. Every time I try to shove it on, it's shaving that right there, and it all that's getting into the edge of the carburetor. And I do not want all that inside the carburetor because then I just have to pull it back off and clean it again. All right, so, <laughs> well, I guess we'll have to wait again. All right, we'll bring you back when, whenever we got some more, or got another part, rather. All right, guys, little update. The boot, I have a new one on the way. I actually found one here in West Virginia. And uh, to give you a reference, I, I don't know if I did on the last, but you see how you can squeeze that in? That's the airbox side. <laughs> and here's the carburetor side. Can't squeeze that at all. I'm trying to squeeze it. So, we got that on the way. Other good news, brake shoes. Got the brake shoes for it, so we're going to get to putting those on. Uh, I went ahead, made up a new fuel line, put an inline filter in it. I don't have it hooked onto the carburetor yet because I'm uh, probably going to have to pull the tank back off. But yeah, I've got that set up. So we'll get the brake shoes done and uh, show you on the adjustment. This is how far it was adjusted. I mean, that's maxed out. This side already loosened up. That's what it should look like. So, we'll get this uh, way this move over here. The way this drum works, you have to take out, take the nut off and the bearings 
and everything for the hub is are all in the drum right there so we'll take that nut off pull the drum off check out the shoes get them replaced and then move to the other side do it and then the rear wheel and uh, don't be done with the brakes be one step closer so I'm gonna set you down here uh -oh. let's see if I can get you fixed up to where you're gonna be able to see sorry it's a little shaky Ooh. just trying to get this stand I'm using adjusted right that might be too much Well, I'm probably going to have to move you back here a little bit anyway. There we go. Should be able to see decently. I'm going to move you around this way. I know, I know, I'm moving you everywhere. So I got what tools I think I'm going to need. Got a pair of needle nose, a flathead, and a crescent wrench. And then I'll probably end up needing other tools. That's the way it usually works out. This thing does have some play in it. Um, I don't know if you can see or not. There's a grease fitting there. It's had grease put in it. But that's just the way. This thing has always had play. It's always had a little bit of play in them. I'm not going to worry about that because he's not going to be doing anything at jumping or running it wide open or anything of that sort so I'm not going to worry about that part of if we want to make note of it and I can we can look at it later if it starts to be an issue Carter keys are always so fun to get out after they've been bent Cotta pins, Mr. Cotta. There it is. that nut off this thing actually does have a torque spec of 25 foot pounds I couldn't believe it my goodness I need to get a breaking bar there it goes well for reference I know how tight it was on there that's for sure Oh, 
There's the inside of the drum. Why that bearing is, believe it or not, those bearing, bearings are great. Seal's still good. Yeah, them brake shoes are just a little done. Hopefully these springs will be okay. They're a little rusty. One good thing, all of that still moves good. That's it, the old ones are off. Definitely gonna have to get a wire brush and clean all this up in here. Okay, so I'm gonna let you see what we're doing on this side. I'm gonna take, some, take a wire brush to all this, clean it up. Um, and then I'm going to move over to the other side and the rear and do those. I'm not going to video. It's, it's going to be the same process. Everything looks pretty much exactly the same. Because uh, I don't want to make the video end up being too long or take up too much space on my phone. I hate that, but it's all I got to work with right now, so yeah, we'll try to get this cleaned up and it shouldn't take much. It's coming off fairly easy. And then we'll get the new brake pads put on it and go from there. Now there is an O-ring in behind this, which this is your cam that operates, that makes the brakes open and close. Um, I'm not going to mess with it because that is working smooth. I'm not going to take it apart. I mean, there's there's no catching in it, nothing. It's working good, so just, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Leave it alone. got a metal brush and then a plastic brush. I was kind of going back after the metal brush and knocking some of the loose stuff out of here. Thing off here. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you.
we're good there. Alright, I hope my knee wasn't in the way it probably was. <clears throat> Let me move you just a hair. There we go, in case my knee gets in the way again. Alright, so we'll take our new shoes. And they'll go just like this with the springs in them. Rounded in, of course, goes over the rounded pin, and then the flat ends go over the cam. I don't know if you can see very good a little bit ago, but I took those springs. I hit them with some uh, PB Blaster. And PB Blaster not only helps break stuff loose if it's, you know, your stuck bolts, uh, nuts, stuff like that, but it also lubricates and helps uh, with rust. If, if something has a little bit of rust on it, it'll help, uh, like, keep it from rusting anymore I can't I don't remember the exact term for it but PB blasts are some good stuff so wanna get one in there I'm gonna get in a the hole. There it is. Alright. So now you just gotta pull them. So that's what it'll look like. Then you gotta get it over this pin. Uh oh. How did I just pull out of there? Ah, I know what I did. We had a malfunction. Step back in there. These are a little tricky. Tricky, tricky. And you know what? These aren't the right daggone brake pads. Look at that. These aren't the right brake shoes. Man, I tell you what, this crap's getting old. This is tw twice now that I've ordered stuff. And it's not been the right things. Wow. Oh, crap. This is what you go through since everything has went to hell in a handbasket with this. So... Yeah, I'm ranting a little bit. So now I'm going to have to message the seller and tell him that these aren't the right brake shoes. And then see, and I, I tell you what, I'm not going to pay to send them back either. They're going to send me some new ones, and they'll pay if they want them sent back. They'll send me a shipping label. Because I am not going to do it. Wow. Here, I was trying to get this done for Dylan. And I know, Dylan, you'll watch this, and I'm sorry, buddy, but this is stuff you've run into. Not much I can do about it.
other than complain a little bit. Unless by chance these are rear We'll check the other ones real quick. Okay, we got lucky. I got lucky. Sorry I ranted about that, but uh, apparently these must be the rears. And the rears must be bigger. Because here's the fronts. I matched them up with the old fronts, and these actually match. So, all right, what do I do with my springs? Yeah, I was fixing to... Fixing to call somebody and raise some cane. All right, quit talking and get to work. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Can't believe I just did that. You know what? I am going to put a little bit of grease right here on these. Don't want to put a lot, just a little bit. Hey, get my tub of grease up. Using Bell Ray waterproof grease. This is a high temp, good, excellent motorcycle grease. Or used for motorcycles, bearings, any kind of bearings, really, anything. But it's some good stuff. Like I said, I don't want a whole lot, just enough. Lubricate that up. Because I don't want it getting on the shoes itself. It'll ruin those. Then I'll do the same thing to the other side. You can't pop these suckers on here. Actually, should probably try. I know there is a trick to doing this.
There it is. There they are. You can see them working. Everything's working smoothly. I'm going to stick a little grease on this axle too. Because I know if my brother watches this, he'll be like, why don't you put some grease on that axle? Just don't want to put too much on here. Clean up inside of this drum a little bit. Try to just run a wire brush around it, kind of scrape it up. Now, I can already tell Devers trying to shove that on. <clears throat> New brake pads. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a big world difference. I just barely pulled on that arm. Here, let's do it this way. Since this arm is set at like its neutral position, take up just a little bit of tension on it. probably make a world of difference once I get the other side done too. There it is. I was say, what did I do with the nut? That should be it right there. Still spins free. You can hear the new pads dragging just a little bit. But that's it. So that's what we're going to do for the other side and the rears. Um, if I find anything when I get to do the rear, if I find anything different or an issue or whatever, I'll bring you guys back for that. But other than that, they're 
drop right down in there. Need to get a hammer. There it goes. Bend that Carter key bag out. Now I need to find it's over here. All right, got that back on. Tires ready to go back on now. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for right now. So I will bring you guys back uh, when. I'll bring you guys back. Um, well, I want to get the air boot in. Um, like I said, I ordered it from a place here in West Virginia. So hopefully, hopefully they'll get it shipped out, and I should reasonably I should have it like next day. I mean, I don't know where Petersburg, West Virginia, is exactly, but um, shouldn't be that far away. So. Anyway, it said three days shipping on. If they happen to get it put in the mail today, it's possible I could have it by Monday. But I'm not cross. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. So I'll bring you guys back uh, when I get those parts. Okay. So I'm gonna let you see what we're doing on this side. I'm gonna take some take a wire brush to all this, clean it up. Um, and then I'm going to move over to the other side and the rear and do those. I'm not going to video. It's, it's going to be the same process. Everything looks pretty much exactly the same because uh, I don't want to make the video end up being too long or take up too much space on my phone. I hate that, but <clears throat> it's all i got to work with right now. So. Yeah, we'll try to get this cleaned up, and it shouldn't take much. It's coming off fairly easy. And then we'll get the new brake pads put on it and go from there. Now there is an O-ring in behind this, which this is your cam that operates, that makes the brakes open and close. Um, I'm not going to mess with it because that is working smooth. I'm not going to take it apart. I mean, there's there's no catching in it, nothing. It's working good, so just, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Leave it alone. I've got a metal brush and then a plastic brush. I just kind of going back after the metal brush and 
knocking some of the loose stuff out of here. Sorry, I made bump you. I think we're good there. All right. I hope my knee wasn't in the way. It probably was. <clears throat> Let me move you just a hair. There we go. In case my knee gets in the way again. All right. So we'll take our new shoes and they'll go just like this with the springs in them rounded in of course goes over the rounded pin and then the flat ends go over the cam now I don't know if you can see very good a little bit ago but I took those springs I hit them with some uh, PB blaster and PB blaster not only Helps break stuff loose if it's you know your stuck bolts, uh, nuts, stuff like that. But it also lubricates and helps uh, with rust. If if something has a little bit of rust on it, it'll help uh, like keep it from rusting anymore. I can't, I don't remember the exact term for it, but PB Blaster is some good stuff. So, wanna get one in there. There we go. One. I'm on getting a hole. There it is. All right. So now you just got to pull them. So that's what it'll look like. Then you got to get it over this pin. Uh oh. How did that just pull out of there? Ah, I know what it did. We had a malfunction. Step back in there. These are a little tricky. Tricky, tricky. You know what? These aren't the right daggone brake pads. Look at that. These aren't the right brake shoes. Man, I tell you what, this crap's getting old. 
this is t twice now that I've ordered stuff and it's not been the right things. Wow. Oh, crap. This is what you go through since everything has went to hell in a handbasket with this. So, yeah, I'm ranting a little bit. So, now I'm going to have to message the seller and tell him that these aren't the right brake shoes. And then see... And I, I tell you what, I'm not going to pay to send them back either. They're going to send me some new ones, and they'll pay if they want them sent back. They'll send me a shipping label. Because I am not going to do it. Wow. Here, I was trying to get this done for Dylan. And I know, Dylan, you'll watch this, and I'm sorry, buddy, but... This is stuff you've run into. Not much I can do about it. Other than complain a little bit. Unless by chance these are rear We'll check the other ones real quick. Okay, we got lucky. I got lucky. Sorry I ranted about that, but uh, apparently these must be the rears. The rears must be bigger. Because here's the fronts. I matched them up with the old fronts, and these actually match. So, all right, what do I do with my springs? Yeah, I was fixing to fixing to call somebody and raise some cane. All right, quit talking and get to work. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Can't believe I just did that. You know what? I am going to put a little bit of grease right here on these. Don't want to put a lot, just a little bit. Okay, get my tub of grease up. Using Bell Ray waterproof grease. This is a high temp, good, excellent motorcycle grease or used for motorcycles, bearings, any kind of bearings, really, anything. But it's some good stuff. Like I said, I don't want a whole lot, just enough. Lubricate that up. Because I don't want it getting on the shoes itself. It'll ruin those.
Then I'll do the same thing to the other side. People can't pop these suckers off. Actually, probably try. I know there is a trick to doing this. There it is. There they are. You can see them working. Everything's working smoothly. I'm going to stick a little grease on this axle too. Because I know if my brother watches this, he'll be like, why don't you put some grease on that axle? Just don't want to put too much on here. clean up the inside of this drum a little bit try to just run a wire brush around it kind of scrape it up Now, I already tell Devers trying to shove that on. <clears throat> New brake pads. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a big world of difference. I just barely pulled on that arm. Here, let's do it this way. Since this arm is set at like its neutral position, take up just a little bit of tension on it. Probably make a world of difference once I get the other side done too. There it is. I was gonna say, what did I do with the nut?
that should be it right there. Still spins free. You can hear the new pads dragging just a little bit. But that's it. So that's what we're going to do for the other side and the rears. Um, if I find anything when I get to do the rear, if I find anything different or an issue or whatever, I'll bring you guys back for that. Oops. But other than that, drop right down in there. Bend that Carter key back up. Now I need to find it's over here. All right, got that back on. Tires ready to go back on now. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for right now. So I will bring you guys back uh, when. I'll bring you guys back. Um, well, I want to get the air boot in. Um, like I said, I ordered it from a place here in West Virginia. So hopefully, hopefully they'll get it shipped out, and I should reasonably I should have it like next day. I mean, I don't know where Petersburg, West Virginia, is exactly, but um, shouldn't be that far away. So. Anyway, it said three days shipping on it. If they happen to get it put in the mail today, it's possible I could have it by Monday. But I'm not cross. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. So I'll bring you guys back uh, when I get those parts. All right, guys. So we are back. Sorry, you are shaking. There we go. We got our part. A carburetor duct. Genuine. This is a genuine Kawasaki part. Part number is 14073-1312. We're going to get this baby put on here and hopefully fire this thing up. I'm coming to the end. I would love to try to get this to them by the weekend. Today is Thursday. Oh, look how nice and shiny and pretty. Now, see how flexible that is? Both ends. Here's the old one. Watch. And I'm, I'm squeezing. I'm trying to squeeze that. That's how hard that thing got. Plus, I don't know if you can see or not, but where I was trying to shove it on, it actually, it's like a hard plastic. Like it hardened up into a hard plastic. It actually chipped pieces off of it so yeah that one's going in the trash we've got our new one got our clamps screwdriver so I'll open this up a little bit more Oh, 
little dirt on it. I'm just going ahead and getting these clamps on there so that way I can get it. Okay, I'm going to set you down here in the floor, and hopefully you'll be able to see me put it on. Might shake a little bit. I'm just trying to get my seat maneuvered around here. It's going to be probably hard to see. But it's going to be right up in that area. Right there. Alright, so I think I have everything that I need. drop this down get in here too a little bit I'm going to have to take the top back off this air box. I'm trying to remember how the box was orientated, or the, the boot rather. Just like that. She slid right on there. Screw started. Boots all the way up on the carburetor and on that. Let me get my screwdriver in here to tighten it up. I'm talking to myself. All right, boots on, tightened up good. Just 
gonna get it. I wanna tighten them too tight, I wanna bust that plastic. That shouldn't go anywhere. That's tight. There it goes. I'm just going to pop a fuel line down on there. Make sure that's all the way down. Now we're ready to get the jumper box and put on and see if we can't fire this thing up. Kind of anxious. Let's see. I'm going to turn it on to reserve because I didn't have much fuel I see fuel going into the filter yeah I didn't have much fuel here so hopefully it'll be enough to get it run Tell you what, I'm gonna move you guys. Here we go. Spin you around, see mug with mug. Uh, all right, I gotta angle the camera, so it's gonna get shaky a second. Sorry. All right, I gotta get the jumper box. I'm not hooking the battery, regular battery back up to is because I don't have the, the plastics and stuff back on it. Okay guys, sorry uh, the way the video cut off here. The uh, bayou is gone. As you can see, the only thing left in here is the Honda. Uh, I got the four-wheeler finished and got it back to my brother. Uh, he test rode it out and then uh, my nephew came and got it for his son, and he's been riding it, loving every minute of it. Sorry the way the video cut off. I was having a lot of problems with my phone, and from what I've seen, uh, that's the only thing I had video with is my phone. And from what I've seen, everybody, I think, is having a lot of problems with uh, the iCloud crap where they're wanting you to buy more iCloud storage. My phone is an older phone. It's a 7 Plus. So, and only a 32 gig, and with all the updates it's done, I went in and deleted pictures, I've deleted apps, uh, still was having the same problem. So, <clears throat> fortunately, sorry, I was able to get me a new phone the other day, a few days ago, and so now this phone, I have went in and deleted about everything off of it. Turned the Wi-Fi off, so it's not doing anything, but other than being, you being, being able to, to be used as a camera so that being said the next project um, not sure yet
Faux seasons here though. Don't know if you can see that right there. But that is my bow. I was able to get me one. And uh, I've gotten it set up. I've been shooting it a little bit. I've had a little problem with my collarbone. I have some arthritis in there. This kind of broke loose and acted it up on me. But I hope to get to go hunting soon. So probably do some videos of that. I know this is Brian's little garage. We do stuff in the garage, but we also do stuff outside. Um, I think I had said back in a different video that my channel... Uh, I not only like to fix things, build things, but I do like to hunt. Uh, I used to fish a lot, and kind of that went by the wayside, and I hadn't fished for years. And then the wife and I this year bought some new fishing poles and fishing gear, and we went fishing a few times. I haven't got to go like I wanted to, just other things going on. Um, but I do plan on doing some trout fishing, and uh, but hunting definitely, bow hunting, rifle hunting. And uh, and try to do some projects here in the shop. I've got this toolbox right here my brother gave me. And uh, I need to build a little shelf for where I have it sitting on this bench. It's kind of my little, uh, well, it's got my refrigerator there. And I was just kind of using it as a separate little workbench if I had something that I needed to take apart and kind of have it laid out. Or uh, working on a gun or... Uh, bow whatever there's not a lot of room there but I want to get a shelf built for that possibly right here yeah right there just big enough to set that box on because what I'm going to use that for is a lot of my specialty tools and what I mean by specialty tools is like my seal puller um, bearing puller uh, I've got uh, vacuum gauges uh, stuff like that that's that's why I'm gonna use that toolbox for and probably oddball tools um, so yeah I need to do that <laughs> I mean I've got a bunch like here all this I need to get a shelf built for my car cleaning stuff and I've just kind of got stuff thrown around there that I've got a lot of straightening up I need to do so, yeah, sorry on the four-wheeler video that we didn't get to finish it out like I did, but uh, what can you do? You're at the mercy of your, you know, phone carrier if you use your phone, uh, unless you have a, a backup phone, which, like I said, I got this one now here that's going to be used for nothing but videos. So, well, I guess that's going to be it. We'll wrap it up for this one, and... Uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. We'll figure out something. Oh, I do have that mower, Craftsman mower outside that uh, I need to get some tires for it so I can try to drive it around. I got it running, uh, and it was running really good. Uh, but the both front tires are dry rotted. They're flat, and tires are about 40 bucks a piece. Uh, and no, I haven't bought them right now because I've been buying other stuff and taking care of other things so um, yeah we haven't been really working any overtime at work so at least not in my area so I haven't had any extra overtime which always helps out even though I don't like to work it you know but you know so and we'll have some uh, more videos of the old Hondo here ain't she pretty old Rubicon <laughs> you want to see how many miles I actually have on this thing oh I don't have the key in it let me go over here and grab the key I don't leave the key in it I like how this dash comes up it says hello Fuel, I still have the tank of fuel that, oh, sorry, that was in it when I bought it. <laughs> Let's set time. There's the actual mileage. Can you see it? 
Maybe not. Let me bring it down a little closer. Can you see the mileage here? Right there. If you can't see it, 16 miles. It says 4.6 hours. Now this here says 84 miles, but I have I have not ridden at 84 miles. I know I haven't. I don't know how you clear that off. Sixteen miles, four point six hours. Yeah, I don't know where this eighty four miles has come from. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. That's, uh, so far, haven't had any problems out of it. I've just used it here around the farm. I mean, she's a little dusty. I don't know how much really you can see, but she's got a little bit of dust on her. A little bit of dirt. Cat got up on it on me here and got paw prints on it. But, I mean, as you can see... She's still pretty shiny. I, I'm thinking I'd like to put a winch on it. Might have to, might have to look at doing that. Uh, I got to get a winch plate and then, and then get me a winch. I don't want to get anything cheap. I don't want to get a Harbor Freight cheapy, but I don't want to get something too expensive either. So anyway, that's it for this video. I really appreciate it if you guys watch it. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, leave me, leave me some feedback. Whether you give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, you know it helps the channel either way. Uh, I definitely want to get more videos out. And oh, the little video I did on this, I'm sorry, the little video I did on this putting the two-inch receiver hitch on the back. There's my. I got my pen and and uh, the hitch. I actually had to cut off about an inch a half of that for that to fit in there. But the as far as sorry these cans in the way. But as far as this drop down, I needed that to get my little trailer that I have outside to sit level. If not, it was going to be sitting, you know, like way at an angle like that up in the air, and I didn't want that. So now I can throw that on, use it. I sanded it down, uh, took some acetone, wiped it down really good, primed it, and painted it. So hopefully that paint job will last for a while. I think I put about four coats on that. And I went ahead and painted the pen for, you know, giggles. So, but yeah, I got that done. That's all done and ready to go. So anyway, that's it, guys. Thank you all. Love you. Have a good one.